Hi guys, welcome back to Craig's Nerd Cave. Uh, today we are talking once again about the Mr. FPGA and today we're actually discussing games and cores that uh, really should belong on this system but haven't yet made their way to the system. So first up on the list we have a Konami four-player co-op game uh, that uh, one of our developers has teased that they are working on this. So we probably will see it in the near future, but at the time of the recording of this video, it is not yet available. That is the Simpsons Arcade game. Uh, this runs on Konami X-Men hardware. It's very similar to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles core that we already have. And uh, that developer is Jotego. He appears to be working on this, or at least he's teased that he is working on this. So hopefully we do see this one in the near future. Along those same lines, another game uh, by Konami, another four-player co-op game that i um, kind of surprised we haven't seen any progress on yet, would be Sunset Riders. This works on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 hardware. Uh, uses a Motorola 68000 CPU, very similar to what we already have on multiple other cores on the Mister. So uh, again, a, a great game. If you haven't played this game, I highly recommend it, especially if you have somebody else to play with, or four players if you can. Uh, next up on my list, we've got Mortal Kombat. This runs on Midway's T-Unit hardware. It's the same hardware that runs Mortal Kombat 2 and NBA Jam. So uh, if we do see this implemented, we got a, a few really good games that I know a lot of people are looking forward to. Um, this one almost did not make the list uh, due to the CPU and the limited number of games that run on this hardware. However, that CPU is very similar to the CPU in the Battletoads arcade game, which has already been implemented in Mister. So given that that's already in Mister, I suspect we can probably leverage a lot of that work to get this core up and running as well. Another favorite of mine that's not yet on the Mister, uh, there are some alternatives to run this on the 32X, would be Afterburner 2. Um, this is Sega's Super Scalar hardware, very similar to what we have up and running in OutRun already. So uh, again, this is probably just an evolution on that OutRun core, at least I'm hoping so, and I'm hoping we see this here in the near future. Along those same lines, we also have another Sega Super Scaler, one of the originals, Space Harrier. Um, this actually predates OutRun, so um, I'm really hopeful that we will see this core up and running on the Mister in the near future as well. Sticking with Sega, uh, another one that we do not have yet is the System 18 board. And the, the big standout from that board, I think, would be the Michael Jackson Moonwalker game. Um, this board's very similar to the System 16 board. It's an evolution from that board. It uses the same type of CPU and a lot of the same hardware. So I'm hopeful that we'll see this core here in the near future. Next up on my list, we have some variations on the PlayStation hardware. Um, Namco made a version of the PlayStation hardware in the arcade called the System 11. It's nearly identical to the original PlayStation. Given that we have that core and it's running great, I'm hopeful 
but we'll see an implementation of the System 11 hardware here pretty soon. And I have Tekken on that system, but there's actually quite a few games that were really great on that system I'd love to see. Along those same lines, a evolution on the System 11 is the System 12. It's got a little additional RAM over the System 11, and um, it's also got a faster clock speed. Other than that, it's nearly identical. And on that system, I have Mr. Driller. So hopefully we see Mr. Driller and Tekken come here in the near future. Next on our list, I have uh, Demon Front. This runs on a system very similar to the Neo Geo that a lot of people here in the U.S. haven't seen or aren't familiar with, and that's the PGM system. Um, this took cartridges just like the Neo Geo, used a Motorola 68000 CPU just like the Neo Geo, although it is clocked at a faster speed. Um, so very similar hardware. I'm, I'm hoping we can leverage a lot of those other resources that have already been written for Mr. and get this up and running here in the near future. Last on our list, and this one is a bit of a stretch, um, but I still believe it's well within reach of the DE10 Nano. And that would be the Sega System 32 hardware with a game like Golden Axe Revenge of Death Adder. Uh, this ran on a Motorola V60 CPU, I believe. It was a 32-bit CPU, uh, clocked at about 16 megahertz. So this, uh, given what we've seen with cores like the PlayStation Core and the Sega Saturn Core, this seems to be within reach of what we could expect on the, on the DE10 Nano in the Mr. Project. Um, whether or not we'll actually see this core implemented, I don't know. I, I suspect we may not, just because there's not a ton of games on this score, but I'm hopeful. All right, well, thanks for joining us. If this is your first time here at the channel, please like and subscribe and uh, follow us for new updates. Thank you.